Handicap, it was a hurdle over the extended two miles. Valley Ramix had been well supported all morning. The send off favourite at three to one from Rooster Booster at seven to two. The orders, they're off. And Zaharani, the first one to jump out from the grey misconduct, uh, followed by still behind them Coxwell Cossack towards the outside. Anne's girl ins and outs in the middle of the field and taking a bit of a hold on the inside as they take the first flight. Last one over at the back was the top weight perfect venue being held up. Another one being strangled at the back is AP McCoy on Valley Ramex, the favourite. That's the grey, just three from the back. Wants to go, but Tony McCoy has got him well settled. A wall of horses in front of him, which is just what he wants as they go out with a circuit to run. And up front, Zaharani, the leader from Misconduct, racing on the inside of Anne's Girl. And they're then followed by Coxwell Cossack. Clandestine just in behind those on the inside. Ins and outs follows in sixth place. Crumlin is seven, Virtuoso is eight, Scarlet Pimpernel is nine, then comes Rooster Booster ten, then there's a gap of two or three lengths to Zers. On his inside is Valley Ramex, who still wants to go, and a gap of four or five then to Perfect Venue at the back of the field as they all take the first flight in the back straight safely. Perfect Venue being held up and giving them at least five lengths start as they go on towards the next. Misconduct on the inside, Anne's girl has come up on the outside just to shade them. Zaharani in between these, then comes Coxwell, Cossack and Clandestine on the inside of ins and outs. They're followed by Drumlin and Virtuoso, behind them Valley Ramex and Rooster Booster. On the outside is Scarlet Pimpernel and Zers and still the gap to the patiently ridden perfect venue as they go down now towards the last flight on the far side. Pretty lightly bunched as they go to it. Zaharani, Misconduct on the inside, up there on the outside, and Skull. Those are the leading three. They're followed by Clandestine against the fence. Coxwell Cossack is next door to that. Drumlin makes ground in the middle of the field with ins and outs. They're followed by Rooster Booster poised on the heels of the leading bunch. Just in behind them, Virtuoso just beginning to niggle at this one. Valley Ramex beginning to make a little bit of ground up there on the inside. Scarlet Pimpernel towards the outside and still being held up right at the back of the field. Perfect venue. Just one in front of him is Zers as they go round this long turn now towards the home straight and four flights up the home straight. And Anne's girl it is, who shows in front. Drumlin, who's been improving all the time, now goes on into second. Zaharani quickly backpedalling through the field. The early leader now in the middle of the bunch as they come round this home turn. Anne's girl, but riding behind Misconduct, has gone the shortest way. Drumlin, in behind these, Valley Ramex has come right up now on the heels of the leaders as they come now down towards the fourth from home. And as they take it, Misconduct, racing there on the inside, rises in front with Anne's girl towards the centre. Drumlin is in the centre as well as they come now down towards the next Rooster Booster, another one who's made good progress as they come towards the third last and as they do so, up front there very little to choose between the leading three as they take it and Valley Ramix is coming with a strong run on the far side to challenge Rooster Booster and these two greys are beginning to go clear down towards the second last, Rooster Booster dives at it and he's gone, Rooster Booster met that all wrong, dived at it that's left Valley Ramix well clear and Tony McCoy's strategy of holding this one up in the early stages and then gradually weaving through the field and delivering him down the home straight has worked to treat because he's a long, long way clear, 15 lengths clear, coming towards the final flight. Here he comes, he's over it safely and Tony can steal a long look round. They're still coming to it in second place. Clandestine has come through, Misconduct still there in third. In behind these is Sirs making some little bit of late progress with perfect venue but Valley Ramix can ease down almost to a walk as he comes to the line, winning this by a good ten lengths. Clandestine is second, Misconduct is third, and Zers is four. Ramix, the three to one favourite, perhaps fortunate to win this.